welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love recipe videos like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you how to make my delicious homemade kombucha. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you how to make my delicious homemade kombucha with coconut sugar or organic pure white sugar. Um, so I've been making this for about six weeks now and I have to say kombucha is absolutely delicious. It's really nice. I normally have it first thing in the morning. Kombucha is a fermented food that is really good for your gut health. Fermented foods are great for gut health, not the stuff that you leave to go mouldy in the fridge, but actually making fermented food is really good for our overall health. Um, you make kombucha with something called a scooby, which I will explain about later, but it's really easy to make. I didn't think it would be this easy, I was quite surprised at the process, and it is really tasty. Um, the organic white sugar is much sweeter than the coconut sugar though, I do have to say that and I'll explain about that later in this video as well. But for now, I'm going to be making another batch today and of course, while I was making it, I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious homemade kombucha. For this recipe, you will need sugar, water, a scooby and some green tea as well so for the scooby i bought one on the happy kombucha website and i will link that website in the description box below for you but i also bought another one on amazon as well i wanted to try and make kombucha with gold, organic golden sugar but i also wanted to try and make it with coconut sugar I have to say that the organic golden sugar is a lot sweeter. Coconut sugar is quite bitter kombucha, but I still really like it. Um, but I think it would be quite an acquired taste. So if you're quite into sugar, if you do have a lot of sugar in your diet, then this one will probably be better for you. But if you're not so keen on sugar and you want to cut it out a little bit, coconut sugar is a good sugar to have in your diet. It kind of slides through the liver slightly easier than ordinary sugar does. Um, so yes, as I was saying, I bought these uh, uh, Scoobies online, that's the word, um, and a Scooby is a fungus. Um, I'm not sure where it's grown or how it's grown. All I know is it is a fungus and it helps with the brewing process of the kombucha. So you're gonna need one of those and I will link where I got both of mine from, as I said in the description box below. I'm going to set the coconut sugar aside because I don't need that. And what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to boil my kettle. So this is quite a small pot and the pot for the coconut sugar I have is slightly bigger. Um, but I'm only going to be making this one today, but I will share what the coconut sugar one looks like as well. I'll insert a clip of it here actually, so you can see it. It's in the airing cupboard at the moment, so it's brewing away nicely. So yes, I'm going to use, I think, probably about a litre for this. Maybe not even a litre, maybe about 800 mils. So I'm just going to fill my kettle like that. And then I'm just going to let this come to the boil now. My kettle has just come to the boil. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about 100 grams of my organic golden cane sugar to my jug. Um, it does say in other instructions to use a jug that you know won't crack or break or anything like that. This is quite tough glass, so I know this won't break and I've done this several times as well. You can use a plastic, bra uh, uh, plastic jug, but I do prefer to use a glass one just because I don't like the plastic in my food, basically. So I'm going to add, as I said, about 800 mils to this and I'm gonna let the hot water dissolve the sugar in this so I'm just going to fill that up like that 
and that should hopefully fill this jar as well so i'm just gonna get a spoon i won't be a moment i'm just gonna stir the sugar in until it dissolves and i'm gonna leave this hot water and sugar solution to uh, cool down so when i make green tea i always like to leave the kettle to cool for a good 15 minutes before i pour it onto the green tea and i feel like i should do that with kombucha as well i don't know if this is right or not but i just feel that i just think that that makes more sense to me i think the reason you don't do it is the same reason you don't do it to coffee either is because you will scold the coffee and it will taste different so yes as i said i'm going to leave this to cool down now it's been about 15 minutes now and i have weighed out my green tea so i've weighed out about eight grams of green tea it can be anywhere between six to eight grams so i'm just going to add the green tea into my sugar solution and i'm going to leave this now to brew and to cool down completely i left the tea to cool completely so this is really cold right now and i have taken my scooby back out of its hiding place so when i'm not using it and storing it in the air and cupboards i generally tend to like to store this in a cool dark place in my house so i store it in a cupboard in the kitchen um, and it tends to keep quite well in there um, and as i said you can buy a scooby on amazon and what will happen is it will come in a packet and you just cut the top off and you can pour it into a pot like this so now i'm going to transfer the tea to the scooby pot so i've got myself a funnel and then i've also got a small colander here that fits perfectly on the top anything like this is great if you just wanted to use a colander then you could but i find the funnel helps to direct the tea into the jar so now i'm just going to pour the tea through the colander and the funnel like so and I'm going to leave that for a moment or two just to let it drip out any extras and as you can see it's filled it right up to the top so I've done a really good job at that pew, pew. I've grabbed myself a piece of breathable cloth so this is a muslin cloth I have um, and I'm just going to put this over the top of my glass jar and now I'm going to store this in my airing cupboard for about seven days you can store it for longer after about 14 it will go bad apparently i've never done it so i'm not about to start but yeah don't leave it any longer than 14 but seven days i find is absolutely perfect you could try it after three days if you wanted to the first batch will be quite sour i have to say but the second and third are absolutely delicious they get sweeter as they go along um so yes i'm off to store this in the airing cupboard now i think that's all i want to tell you uh so i'll be back in about seven days the kombucha has been in the airing cupboard for about a week now so i'm going to take this out and i'm going to decant it into a bottle to decant the kombucha i'm going to remove the muslin cloth from the glass jar and then here I have a glass bottle that I bought in Ikea, I think, and I can link those in the description box below for you. It's one with a flip lid, so it just comes off like that, which is really handy, I have to say. And then I've got myself a plastic funnel, and again, I've got myself my small colander, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the kombucha through the colander, and then obviously through the funnel and then into the glass bottle but to help the scooby to stay alive you have to leave about a third of the jar at the bottom so a third of the liquid at the bottom of the jar and this will help these scooby to stay alive so i'm just going to add a little bit more like that I think that's done and I have a lid for this glass jar as well which I will put on and when I'm not using it I store it in a cool dark place in our cupboard so yes that is my kombucha done I thought I would just share with you the difference between the kombucha made with the organic golden sugar 
cane and the kombucha made with organic coconut sugar as you can see it's a lot darker and this one as I said at the beginning is a lot more bitter than this one is so if you don't like bitter then I would suggest you um, make the golden sugar one which is absolutely delicious um, eventually I want to add flavorings to these as well so I'm going to try out a few flavorings with these as well but for now I am going to put these into the fridge and I shall be enjoying these with my peels in the morning. That's how you make my delicious homemade kombucha and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be enjoying these with some peels in the morning. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon.